Lucas Nation fans, welcome back to another exciting video here today at KLP Entertainment YouTube and Facebook and even SoundCloud if you're listening via SoundCloud. Today is a very special day here today because we've got something very, very unique here this week. Of course, this is the premiere of our new show here today, The Lucas Tech Show. Of course, hopefully you guys are ready for the series of this. Hopefully you guys love it. Um, I was looking forward into planning this. We planned this last week and now we're ready to launch it of course is the lucas tech show hopefully you guys are ready for it because it's the third show here on klp entertainment uh, again let me explain to you guys about the show here uh, for those of you who may not know what this show is about of course the lucas tech show is a brand new brand new uh radio show launch here at klp entertainment to talk about all and everything tech again we don't talk about anything else but technology and what's trending in technology news now Hopefully you guys are ready for this one because I'm so excited to be doing this because you guys know I am good on tech. I love technology. I think it is our market. I think it is our growth here in America. Technology is, is taking over the world. Um, hopefully it doesn't take over the world too much so that way uh, it becomes smarter than us. But you know, technology is fantastic and it's just fitting that I do a tech show about this. Of course, talk about all and everything tech. Now on today's show, we're talking about the brand new Apple HomePod. Of course, uh, now we're, we're displaying video now, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the video content while we talk about this sort of product. So again, the new Apple HomePod is now available at apple.com, eBay, and Best Buy for all around $349. Of course, eBay got it for 500, almost $500. So um, you might as well just go to Best Buy or Apple to get that kind of product now. I'm so excited to, to talk about the HomePod because it's it just came out uh, not too long ago. It was announced on January 5th, uh, 2017 uh, at the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference and the HomePod was originally scheduled to release in December, but it got later delayed uh, a couple weeks uh, ago to, from today. So again, very excited to talk about the HomePod. Of course, I've seen videos all over YouTube and I decided to display this video, uh, you know, courtesy of Everything Apple uh, YouTube channel, of course, he's talking about the brand new iHome. He's unboxing it right now. And I just want to do sort of talk about it and give my little input about the device. Um, the device seems to look very heavy is what the guy said in his video. And it looks very heavy. It looks like it's in good quality. I'm very excited to see that it comes in two colors. Uh, as you'll see here in a minute, uh, if it's already passed, you know, it's okay. The space gray one looks more of a black color than the actual gray color. Um, so I don't really, I'm trying, I'm confused when they say it's supposed to be space gray when it looks like Mac black. Uh, it could just be my, my eyesight, but I think it, it looks kind of like Mac black to me in, com in comparison to uh, the space gray color. Space gray color, you have more of the gray tone color. Mac black, you got that shiny black. And that's what this, the black HomePod looks like. Um, I want to say though, <laughs> I do want to say that his, um, when people test this thing out, they have this new thing called, uh, Hey Siri. And that's the, well, it's not really new uh, to most people, but they implemented the Hey Siri into this thing. And it kind of reminds me of Alexa, you know, Amazon Echo Dot and Amazon Echo. It reminds me of Alexa a little bit because it's kind of the same functions. If you just say, Hey Siri, what's the weather today? That's easy. You can go to Alexa and say, hey, Alexa, what's the weather today? So it just kind of kind of mimics it a little bit. So I don't really see a, a different potential uh, than that, really. Um, honestly, if you just say, hey, Siri, what's the weather? Hey, Alexa, what's the weather? You're going to get the same outcome, I think. Um, and again, it's like, hey, Siri, play my Pandora or hey, Siri, play my, play my Spotify. You can do the same thing with, with uh, Alexa. So not really too concerning about the Hey Siri function because it's just, it reminds me of Alexa. Um, if you want it for that technology, if you want to get the iHome for Hey Siri assistance, you might as well just go out and get Alexa if you're on a budget. Now, if you have about $300 to spare, then yes, go out and get it if you want it. But if you want that function, you might as well just go get Alexa. It's cheaper. I have it here in the office, Alexa dot, uh, Echo Dot, and it cost me about $50 in, com in comparison to the $300 uh, price mark. Of course, this uh, HomePod doesn't support stereo system mode, so a lot of people with a cool, swanky setup are really upset about it because you can't pair it up with the studio uh, style. 
uh, if you have a studio like I do. So it really wouldn't have not been beneficial for me because I have a studio and I will want my speakers to be in studio mode and it doesn't really support it yet. So we're waiting to see if it's going to support in the latest updates. Again, it's still kind of early in the stage. I kind of feel like Apple is pushing this thing out and then they're going to come up with something called the iHome, uh, sorry, not iHome, HomePod 2 or the HomePod 2S or something weird, it's a weird name where it's smaller, slicker, more smarter. So, and that's just how Apple do it. Apple has a lot of these products and Apple develops products, new products. They're probably already working on the HomePod 2 right now because they want the sales and people are going on to it. So as if you're, it's probably playing on the video right now, he actually played the sound, the speaker, uh, to see the sound test. It is not really that loud, I must say. And I'm just watching the video and it's just, to me, it doesn't seem loud enough for a good quality speaker. Um, that was one of the things that people are kind of upset about because it could be louder, but it's not louder. Um, but the one cool thing that I saw in this video, and I'm probably jumping ahead from the video, but you'll see in, in this in the video concert is, he moves to a different uh, area in, I guess, what looks like his house. And he's able to pair the two speakers to one phone. Now, I am going to give Apple their product, their uh, browning points for that because they allow people, like to say, if you buy two HomePods, you can pair both of those two HomePods to your cell phone, and your phone can play with the within two speakers. I think when you go out and get this product, it's going to be better if you get two and you pair them together and you separate them. They're going to be louder that way. Um, they're going to be louder that way because it's going to uh, allow the two speakers to play uh, the same music uh, at the same time. And it just kind of increase your volume a little bit if you're looking for more volume and a little bit more bass. And speaking of bass, the bass actually is pretty good uh, based off the video and based on many videos I see out there on the internet that the bass is really good. I am not really upset about the bass because it, it sounds really impactful. The mix down is not really too good on this, but the bass is really good. And for what it is, if you just want to have like a little party speaker, it would be good for that. Um, would I say that this thing is worth like what, what was it cost three hundred dollars? Probably not. Um, if you got it like that, get it. But you know, if you're on a budget, you ball in the studio on a budget, you can find speakers that can be even louder than the HomePod. But it's just you know, it's at a cheaper scale. Again, I have speakers here and they're pretty good quality, but. I have mine cheaper like my speakers are pro skin speakers so they are lot nice and loud enough for me here in the studio but again is this thing worth uh you know the 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 300 price tag probably not so the HomePod supports airplay 2 which allows multi-speaker audio streaming which is actually pretty good uh it uses the apple a8 chip and siri software again the hey siri software that i told you guys about uh, the HomePod requires an ios device running iOS 11.2.5 and later. Of course, when this stuff gets, again, and I know Apple's move, they're gonna market this thing out. Again, when the update comes on your phone, they're probably gonna increase how the way you work the HomePod. So again, they're, they're smart, they know what they're doing. Uh, touch display uh, on the top of the device is not really a huge display like a lot of people was kind of hoping for, but uh, it, it is what it is. Of course, you have the, the plus and minus button that's on display. That's your increase your volume, decrease your volume. And then you have a little, like a little white, milky looking uh, patch there on the top that lets you, guys, let you know that the system is on and it's trying to pair up with your phone. Uh, of course, it's on top of the, uh, uh, the device that shows the dynamic waveform when Siri is activated. Again, nice little neat touches, I, I'm guessing so. Uh, again, do I really do think that this thing is worth $300? Probably not. Again, like I mentioned before, there are other speakers out there and there, there's others that, uh, you know, you can go out and get cheaper speakers. Again, it was released in February 9th. It was scheduled to be released in December, but February 9th is a new thing. Uh, that was a couple days ago. Uh, again, so excited for this technology. Again, I really do hope they make this device better. Um, do I see it being the potential need right now? Probably not. But again, if when you get your updates, because they're going to update the phones, they're probably going to work better. Um, the one neat thing, though, once you're playing your music and you say, hey, Siri, and your music's playing at full volume, you say, hey, Siri, and Siri can pick it up. Um, that's one of the things where Alexa's not really that great at. Again, I noticed it here in the studio. 
I play my music from Pandora and I say, hey Alexa, and then I have to kind of repeat myself. Uh, again, I noticed in the video too, like if you have both, if you have two HomePods paired at the same time on your phone, you have to be super loud. Again, you have to be super loud. Now, if you're quiet, maybe one of your HomePods may say, oh, okay, I, I, I'm reading you. But then if you're super loud, both of them pause on and you're able to make phone calls or check text messages. So it's a nifty thing. I, I think um, Alexa can do something like that, minus the messaging and the phone calls. That's something I wish Alexa can do. Um, call phones. You can only really use Alexa when you call, if somebody has an Alexa Echo Dot, Echo Show, or the original Echo Dot. So uh, that's one of the, the, the minus things about that where HomePod kind of beats Alexa because, and Google, uh, Google, um, I forgot the thing, the Google, Google Home, that's the name of it, Google Home. That's one of the things where uh, Google Home and Alexa is kind of lacking, the HomePod kind of nails that, like you can make a phone call because it's connected to your phone, it's all Apple, so, uh, you know, that's just one of the crafty things, but then, again, all these technologies are the same when it comes to regards of the sound system. I stick with my Alexa, I love my Alexa for what I use it for, so I'm not really too, uh, too upset about my Alexa, you know, $50, you can't beat that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little show here today, talking about the brand new Apple HomePod. Comment below, will you go get this device or will you pass on this device? Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this premiere of the Lucas Tech Show. Of course, we got so many more technology. And here's the nifty thing, Lucas Nation fans. We're gonna be talking about new technology and old technology that we have missed. So we might even go back to 2008. Technology from 2008 on down to 2001, if needed being. So stay tuned for this uh, segment, the Lucas Tech Show with your host, Kennedy Lucas. I'm Kennedy Lucas, logging out.